Hi Libra and welcome to the Guided Intuitive. I'm Michelle and I am going to do a full card spread for you guys for the month of August already. Can you guys believe this? Crazy. Um, it's hotter than heck here so I'm not burning my candles but I am burning my incense, okay? Uh, that can kind of just clear the air a little bit and uh, it makes it kind of nice. So um, this will be for all Libra sun, moon and rising signs. If you guys do not know what your moon and rising sign are, please be sure to check the description box below, okay? Because what you'll be able to do is to plug in your info, and if you do not know the time of your birth, go ahead and plug in 12 uh, p.m. Because uh, that will kind of give you the best uh, kind of insight to where you're at in terms of your natal chart. It's just if you know it, it's a lot more personalized for you, so that's what I always say. So just kind of keep that in mind. But I'm excited to do this for you. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your shares. And if you guys are in, uh, you know, interested in being involved in a uh, group of um, those that are also on the journey to self-discovery, self-development, and improvement, please go to our Facebook page, uh, The Guided Intuitive, uh, and then click the button, Visit Group, and there will help you gain entry into that. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. You'll get some valuable insights, post some questions, and then just kind of, you know, go on this wonderful journey yourself, um, you know, with a lot of people that are uh, kind of on that same uh, road in, uh, you know, self-discovery of self-improvement. So, Let's see what's in store for Libra for uh, August 2018. What does Libra need to know? Um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to turn the camera down and let's get started, okay? Okay. Let's do that here. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Hopefully that'll work out a little bit better. There we have it, okay? All right, so what is in store for Libra for the month of August 2018? What does Libra need to know? Uh, we'll pull some clarifiers on this too, guys. Uh, excited to see what's going to be revealed. Libra, August 2018. What does Libra need to know for August 2018? Um, and if you guys are inclined, uh, go ahead and uh, check out my um, website. If you're looking to book a read, um, you can click the area of schedule a session. What's in the What's in the, uh, the insights that we need to know for Libra for August 2018? Okay, let's shuffle, guys. Let's go ahead and cut the deck and see where we're at. Okay. So I'm going to lay these out. And we'll take a look at them one by one through here. Okay, here we go. What's at the bottom of the deck for you guys? We got you walking away from something, okay? So this is a lot of work that you put in, and this is like emotional. So this is the cups or, or the Cancer Scar you know, Scorpio Pisces area, and this is kind of that type of energy. And, uh, you know, this is more of the water energy. And this is saying there's a lot of work that's been put in, but you're turning around and you're walking away because you know it's the best decision for you. Um, you're, 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 it, sometimes it takes a heck of a lot of strength in order to do, actually do that. But that's what this is saying for you guys. So you guys are going to have to tell me this is the underlying energy that we're seeing here. So you're walking away from something. Now, again, because this has to do, you know, with the cups, um, it's it's more or less really about that, you know, intuition, using your intuition and just knowing that you've got to turn around and walk away and that's best for you. Um, you know, it's emotions. You know, this could be positive or negative, uh, but it is about romance, relationships, love, happiness, uh, maybe some psychic abilities in terms of knowing what's the best route for you to go through. So note your comments below, you guys. This is that underlying energy right now. So let's get to see what your situation is. Okay. Okay, guys, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. And the Pentacles is that Earth-type energy, right? And this is having to deal with uh, that, that uh, you know, the realization of ideas, some sort of material gain. Um, this is someone bringing in an opportunity. It can also be symbolic of health as well, okay? As well as, you know, wealth and material possessions. But this is a slow-moving horse. It's very sturdy and stable, and there's a knight that has this opportunity. Now, whether this is coming to you or you're starting out anew in terms of your situation with that one pentacle in hand, uh, you know, in terms of moving forward. And um, what I like is that, you know, again, that it is very, very stable and that it is, uh, you know, this could be an opportunity in a career, 
Um, this could be an opportunity perhaps in a, you know, it could, it could even be someone bringing you some sort of a, of gift uh, of some sort. But it is, um, you're going to have to kind of fill in the blanks if it's, you know, mostly if it's a pinnacle relates to kind of an idea, you know, work, uh, you know, kind of material gain, ideas, a dream of some sort like that. Um, now, it could be a relationship, someone bringing in something as well, but this is an opportunity. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's uh, everything, you know, it takes a lot of work to actually reach, you know, some success. You know, it takes, there's a little luck involved in that too, but uh, it's mostly a lot of hard work. And this court card, you know, the Knight of Pentacles may be a part of yourself. Uh, maybe it's someone in your life uh, or perhaps, you know, an event. Um, but it suggests that you need to be trustworthy, that you need to be reliable, and you need to be a good provider. Um, and, and you need to give, you know, to kind of follow a routine that uh, until that job is complete from start to finish, okay? And uh, you're kind of in that implementation mode, right? You're getting the job done. It requires a lot of hard work. Um, you're also fiercely loyal and prepared to do whatever it takes to get the job done. So whether if that happens to be in a, in a relationship that you're working on, guys, to gain that stability for yourself, or if this is actually uh, you yourself kind of starting out anew and doing what it takes and going slow and steady, you know, um, you know, there is a certain amount of perfectionism that is attached to this a little bit. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, you know, you never leave a job half done and it's essential that you complete all the assigned tasks and projects to standard uh, and that you follow through on your promises. So that's kind of what this talks about. Um, and then it's also a time of responsibility. So you guys might see this right now. You guys note your comments below, but it is a time that you assume responsibility and you take charge of some sort of situation at hand, whether it's a project, a task. Uh, you're going to see it through successfully and accept that responsibility, uh, you know, without any complaints or grudges. So how interesting. Now, what is at, um, you know, your challenge uh, or your, uh, you know, um, this is actually saying your opportunity or your challenge. So this is actually the Queen of Pentacles. So this is, a you know, you might have an earth sign that's in your uh, realm as well. And she's looking at her, at her pentacle as well. She's worked at it really, really hard. Uh, and she herself, um, you know, is does not give that coin, um, you know, just to anyone. She watches over her, you know, finances, um, you know, and this might be someone in your life. Um, this might be, uh, you know, someone, um, you know, you might be taking on this energy as well. Um, but I'm thinking that it might also be someone in your life um, that, you uh, that, you know, you've got the, the Knight of Pentacles, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you guys are going to just kind of have to let me know because that's it's kind of interesting. But it is, uh, you know, a woman, uh, you know, male, it could be a female, you know, as well, male or female. But it's just, but it's mostly like this motherly type uh, energy that I'm feeling, kind of a down to earth. So, you know, down to earth type of energy. Let's just focus on that. But very practical, you know, focused on security right now, Okay. And uh, just make sure that you be careful where you stand, um, you know, where, what, you know, what decisions that you're making, kind of that type of thing. Um, she works full time. She takes care of children. She cleans the house, you know, in terms of this queen depicted here. Uh, but she still has time to kind of focus on the business side, you know, and read that business section, you know, of, on, you know, online or, you know, in a newspaper or whatever that case may be. So she tries to really get that, that warm and secure environment for her family. And she shows her love by others, whether it's cooking, uh, you know, have an inviting home, um, bringing in decent income to support the family financially. This is really beautiful. If you are, are partnering up with someone like this, this is kind of cool, Libra. So this could be a potential. Now, it could be a challenge right now because you might, uh, you know, both be kind of working on a situation where you're both are, you know, trying, you're, you're both bringing in the income and, uh, you know, one is, is you're both working on your projects right now. So it's, sometimes it's, it's hard to make time for that family time that's necessary. Um, you know, so just kind of keep that in mind. So quite interesting, but I think it's a beautiful potential. Now, what is it that you need to focus on? on? And this is the Empress. This is beautiful. This talks about fertility, guys. 
This is, wow. Um, and this is talking about, you know, a woman who likes nice things. Um, it's that feminine energy. It's that Mother Earth energy. So you got it a little bit from the Queen of Pentacles, and then you've got it from the Empress. So um, how interesting. But she's very, you know, she's worked really, really hard, you know, for what she's got, you know, uh, as well. Um, but the Empress is, is you know, brings in that fertility. So, again, it might be, uh, you know, it might be that pregnancy. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's that earth mother, you know, as well. Um, and, you know, you might have someone uh, within your realm um, that kind of fits this description. Um, but it's about, you know, she loves beauty. She loves art. Uh, she like she's full of grace, harmony, and love, and creativity. Um, so you know, kind of keep that in mind. She's got this peaceful, calm aura about her. Okay, she's got that crown of stars, and this just means that she's got connection to the mystical. And this is beautiful because she uses her intuition as well uh, on things. You know, that fertility is 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 definitely there. So this is talks about what it is. Um, at this time uh, that you definitely need uh, to really, uh, you know, kind of the basis of the situation, what you need to really kind of, you know, focus on. So that's interesting. What's your past, guys? Oh, my God, you had little sneaky behavior, whether it's be from someone um, that's doing this to you or perhaps um, you might find yourself doing this. So it's kind of like, you know, stay above board, watch out, do things with integrity, guys. Um, you know, because just when you think you're sneaking off, uh, it can actually turn around to bite you right in the butt. <laughs> okay. So kind of keep that in mind. Be honest, be above board. But this is that sword energy. So quite interesting, guys, because, um, you know, what we're really, what we're really talking about here is more of that, uh, uh, you know, it's that, that, that kind of struggle, right? That challenge, that, that conflict. So you may have had some sort of struggle, conflict of some sort. And this is with the Aries, Libra, or Gemini. Uh, maybe you've had that struggle within yourself, or maybe you had it with a, a another, you know, Aquarius, you know, uh, Libra, or Gemini kind of fellow uh, type of air sign. But that's, it's about a physical or moral conflict or some sort of struggle that you came out with. And that could be why you're starting a new here and focusing on your finances at this time. So let's talk about what's your strength, guys. Okay, you're starting, it's like a, your strength is to start anew uh, and you've got that sword and um, you're definitely watching out. Again, this is in your energy. This is that air element. You're ready for the challenge and you'll use that sword if you need to, but you know, it's it's kind of starting out, right? Um, it's It's a page. So it's a little bit different, uh, you know, than, you know, a king or a knight, um, but it's definitely uh, something that's a part of your strength. And I like this because within this read, it talks about to me and what it shows up is saying that you are curious, you're, you're energetic and you're mentally restless at this time. And, um, you know, and, and what I like about, if it was reversed, it'd be like all talk and no action, but you're definitely doing your stuff. And you can tell by, cause your situation, it seems like as if you're working really, really hard. Um, but what it talks about here is, is focusing on the energy, the passion and enthusiasm. It's like, you can't wait to get started on a particular project, an idea and to share with others. So you start, you know, all new projects, adventures in, in journeys with that you know, huge amount of energy. And, you know, the challenge in this is whether or not that you can kind of keep that up and keep it going, right? So you guys might find yourself in this situation, you know, so, you know, to maintain that pace, uh, you know, very be, you know, be very, very careful uh, to kind of pace yourself a little bit. This is the green light, though, to say move forward. So whatever it is that has brought you to my channel, this is saying, go for it, move forward. It's going to be your strength because, uh, you need to follow your passions and go where your true energy, Libra, lies. So this is the page encourages you to move forward and get that, those wheels in motion despite any setbacks, despite anything like that, okay? And, and that's what it's basically telling you. And it's, it's a young, vibrant person that's idealistic with lots of plans and ideas for the future. So this is saying that align yourself with others that, who that uh, will not overwhelm you or stifle the direction of your ideas, okay? You feel like you can do almost anything and you want to keep that momentum up. So nurture your ideas, manifest them in an organized manner, okay? Because you've got that intelligent nature and that sensitive nature. 
Now let's move into the near future, and you've got the death card, guys, okay? And and I'm never afraid of the death card anymore, and I, I kind of ask you uh, to implore, uh, you know, looking into that perspective as well, because this just means that something is coming to an end, okay? So whatever that situation is, something is coming to an end, whether it is a particular relationship, a particular project, something of the sort. And, um, you know, perhaps after, you know, the past situation here, um, you know, that you're really focusing on that new beginning. But with every new beginning, something does have to end. So something was put to rest or is being put to rest or will be put to rest. Okay, guys? Um, so keep that in mind. Within, within that death card is that, you know, that with every uh, ending is, of course, that new beginning. But, you know, keep in mind, too, is that you can't learn from, you know, can't bring the learnings with you until you've learned, you know, some particular mistakes and, and actually, you know, a lot of growth. So there's some sort of phase in your life that's ending as it was before in the past. Sorry, guys. Um, and that's what this is saying. So it probably just, my timer just brought attention to this. It says, you know, hey, this is this is something to pay attention to, that, that this is um, offers an opportunity for you uh, to have a new start because it is a definite major change. So it's, it's interesting, guys. Uh, very, very interesting. It is about, you know, uh, it could be, a, again, a, a relationship, an interest, um, you know, that's coming to an end, uh, it, but there is a uh, letting go of some sort of attachment of some sort of something that maybe just didn't work out, you know, that you wanted it to, to happen. But this is like a, that, that water energy. So um, that's what that has to deal with. But just keep in mind, guys, you know, it's, it, there's a, signif a signification of a, a significant ending of some sort that's coming to an end. But um, the past needs to be placed behind you so you can focus your energy on what is ahead of you. And that's probably one of the reasons why this bell went off. It's like alarm. Guys, hey, um, you know, this is something that we need to be aware of. Let go of the past so you can move forward and focus that energy uh, on what it is that you're doing, um, you know, as you move forward. Uh, so I think that's beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at um, the other area on what it is your suggested approach. Oh, being fair. So that's the justice that comes into place, guys. Very, very interesting. And the justice card comes in to whether other that, you know, maybe there's been some sort of death in a relationship and justice is coming in to balance the scales out a little bit better for you guys. Um, you know, and there's also a sword in his right hand, but he wants to balance scales in his left. So you can actually use both depending on what the situation calls for. But what this is saying is that you, your suggested approach is to be fair, but also don't forget to stand up for yourself. Um, because justice is big, you know, justice is, is, uh, saying that, uh, definitely be fair in all of your dealings moving forward. Um, because it's going to be very, very important to you. Um, it's making the fairest decision. Um, it, it cuts through the situation with the sword, but it won't be, uh, swayed by, uh, outer beauty when deciding what is fair and what is just. Okay. So it's a balancing and the equilibrium. It's taking responsibility and being fair in whatever this situation is for you guys. So very interesting. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what you need to know. What you need to know is that there is some sort of ending. Okay. So you've got that sword type energy. And what that is saying about over here is that this is more of your your type of energy. This is that air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you're coming to an end of a struggle, the end of a challenge of moral conflict, of, of action, you know, of, of some sort of change. This could be internally within you guys or externally. So note your comments below. Man, guys, um, well, we're going to clarify a few of this stuff and we're going to see how we can kind of maneuver this a little bit better. What's your hopes and fears? So your hopes and fears is that the wheel changes and it moves in your favor. And um, your fear is that, you know, going through this change sometimes. And it does, it is a big change to go from here and then to go to the wheel of fortune. Because what comes down must come up again, okay? And that's what this wheel of fortune is saying. So, you know, don't, don't, uh, um, you know, just note that um, because that is something that is very, you know, focus on what it is that you actually want and not what it is, you know, not what you don't want. Okay. So keep that in mind. There is an element of change 
and there is, uh, you know, a, a position of fortune. Um, and, uh, you know, it's about luck. It's about opportunity. It's about winning. And it's about becoming, uh, you know, have this winning chance and destiny. So if this was in reverse, it would be a mishap, bad luck, misfortune, or disappointment. But this is on the upright. So coming from that, that uh, ten of swords and moving into that, um, you know, you've got the, all opportunity to have that, that, you know, by your hard work that you're putting in and putting an end to something allows that new uh, opportunity and luck and, and destiny to come into place. Oh my gosh, you guys, you get the nine of cups for your outcome. Check this out. Libra, this is fabulous. Because look at this. You got the nine of cups emotionally and spiritually. This is wealth. This is emotional satisfaction, guys. Um, you know, and who, like I said, when we talk about sometimes you've got to go through this, focus on what it is that you want. Um, you know, continue to work hard, right? Um, you know, um, you know, stay away from deception and then put an end to what is no longer serving you anymore. And, um, you know, really focus and get in nature and focus on, you know, on Mother Earth uh, and be that, that 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 justice person in your life. You know, whether it's justice in a relationship, when a, in a career, whatever, in, in, you know, whatever that looks like. But, you know, this talks about emotional fulfillment as well as, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, material fulfillment. So this is a Cancer Scorpio uh, Pisces type energy. So you might have a person like that that's actually in your life. And, you know, perhaps you're kind of moving into that that next level but you're feeling extremely content emotionally this is beautiful guys for your outcome i love to actually see that um so it's it's very very beautiful and you know the nine of cups i mean it's it's um it's it's just overall an opportunity to truly be um you know a, a true sense of satisfaction you know it's spiritually maternally uh, or materially, and you're, you've achieved your innermost desire, whatever that innermost desire is to you guys. Note your comment below because it's quite interesting. Um, it's about extreme happiness and satisfaction. You've left the comfort uh, in order of greater heights, and here you found them, and you're indulging in yourself, and you're celebrating a new stage in your life, and you can't have it unless this comes in. So remember what I said. This can be a very good card. It's all on how you interpret it. So, um, you know, kind of keep that in mind. So um, what advice can we give on the near future in regards to uh, the death card? What does that look like? What um, uh, information can we give? Oh, my gosh, you've got the nine of pentacles. Um, so when something ends, uh, you tend to be, uh, you know, you, you're feeling very, very beautiful. Materially, you're feeling great. Um, you know, and spiritually, you're feeling great as well. She's got the bird with the connection with the animals, all the gr all green that's floating behind her. Um, again, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo type energy or woman in your life. Uh, you know, it might be a man in your life if you're, um, you know, uh, you know, depending on this is just kind of neutral sex. So keep that in mind. Um, but it's quite interesting. And then you get the Queen of Cups. And this is a Queen of Cups of someone that looks at her cup and says, I'm not going to give this to just anyone. Um, but this is about emotional, emotionally and materially uh, just really feeling fabulous when you put an end. And then you think, well, what's my long term goal? What's the next route that I'm going to go to? And you put in those long term plans. Uh, and that's what you do. And then you stand out and move forward um, as in the full, full of uh, a new opportunity, a new beginning for yourself. Putting in that justice in place so as you move forward, um, you're able to get that Ten of Cups. So that's fabulous. I think this is really great. I'm clarifying the, the excuse me, the Nine of Cups. I said the Ten of Cups before and I meant the Nine of Cups here. But when you when I clarify the Nine of Cups, it's also a, a, a new beginning. You get the Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity at hand that's reaching out to you from the universe. And it is a material and spiritual gain. So this is very beautiful, you guys. I'm so happy to see that. And it takes you walking away from something that no longer serves you. That's what it takes. That's why you're able to kind of move forward and get this. And then you get the sun. The sun is that energetic, you know, the, obviously that uh, that type of uh, exuberance. Uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. That's the type of energy that you're actually bringing about, you know, to you. 
um, in, in, that, in that card there. So I like to see this, guys. This is a, a beautiful feeling. Uh, the universe is coming together and agreeing with you on your path and aiding you as you move forward into something even greater. The sun is shining on you. You're on a white horse. You feel like a little kid again. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's happiness, right? Material happiness, joy, enlightenment. It also signifies marriage, success, or vitality. So you guys let me, let me know what this looks like for you. So what advice can we give to Libra as it relates uh, to the overall outcome? What advice do they need to know in the overall outcome? Teach. Wow, guys, look at this. So teach. And this might be something that you need to do after coming through what it is that you've gone through. You've kind of gained that knowledge. And this is saying that now you can actually, uh, you know, look forward into perhaps teaching another that might, you know, be in a situation like that. But this is saying to share your knowledge, share your talents, uh, Libra, and share your wisdom on what you're passionate about. So perhaps you become a mentor for someone else. Very, very beautiful. What else do we need to know? Birth. Oh, you guys. A brand new opportunity and beginning. Now, the birth guys might relate to this fertility card here. So you guys let me know what that means. But quite interesting. Um, and uh, this was... Uh, uh, this actually falls into the particular position of your what you need to focus on. So what you need to focus on is being around earth and, and getting in that earth energy so you can get that particular rebirth. So that's really beautiful. And so you might be, uh, be something that something might be expected, you know, so it's a new birth of a new beginning on a, on a new life, a new beginning for you could also be a birth, you know, as it relates to this, um, you know, this, uh, if it was a marriage that this is connotating for you, um, this brings out some fertility from the empress there. And what else? Gosh, you get a birth and a rebirth. Maybe you're going to get both. <laughs> God forbid, right? <laughs> so you get this birth of this new opportunity, and then you get the, and then it's a rebirth. So it's like they're both just going hand in hand. It's like this new beginning for yourself. When you go through a birth, that's what it feels like, and it's and the rebirth is is kind of along those those particular same lines. That's amazing, guys. I think it's so cool. Um, so keep that in mind. I think that's something that, that you can definitely look forward to for the future. Um, because it's really putting you in alignment, new beginning, lots of great things. I'm going to read a final card for you guys from Rumi. And um, I think this might be helpful for you. Um, this is a quite interesting. Um, Rumi is a Sufi and uh, talks about um, you know messages from the heart. Uh, also a very beautiful, beautiful poet as well. And uh, actually uh, you know writes messages from the heart. So what is it that Libra needs to know for the month of August overall? In regards to this read. Fabulous read, you guys. Let's see what it is. I can't see. Here we go. I surge on the uprising wave of love. I surge on the uprising wave of love. So we're going to, I'm going to check this out and see what that actually resonates and, and what that actually uh, talks about here. So what it means, guys, is that I'm going to actually just kind of uh, state a little bit on what it's actually saying for you. So you got a, a pretty good idea. I surge on the uprising wave of love. Okay. No gravity can stop me from rising. The moon pulls the tide of life towards her. And my soul is in oneness with all of life answers uh, as it pertains to her call. The wave of love consumes me and upwards I fly flying through the water to greet her shining body. Led by my heart, my wits are, are, are added and my mind becomes a blurry mess. And so I feel instead, feel the truth of her love and the divine reflection she shines back from me, from her radiant heart. So it's talking about greater forces, guys, of this planetary um, you know, movements that affect us all. Then, you know, that, that day and night interplay and uh, along with that earth, sun and moon, and we're experiencing a lot of this right now. It definitely has a profound effect. So it's very, very beautiful. Uh, it has an effect on the body and the soul. So some movements are perhaps less obvious, but as you're going through a cycle and a new one is that you're going to be moved by forces greater than your own personal will. And isn't that so true when you actually go through a rebirth, guys? Wow. 
this is beautiful. You're kind of have that oceanic uh, power of that rebirth moving forward. So I love this for you guys. I hope this resonated with you in some way, shape, or form, Libra. And I look forward to seeing you in the month of September. And until then, namaste.